Okay, so the most cliche thing I can do right now is to say, oh my gosh, I'm blonde now, so blondes have more fun. That's not true. Blondes, brunettes, we all have fun. Today, I am gonna amp it up a little bit and step outside of my comfort zone and go blonde, and I'm definitely gonna have fun in her. But do you think blondes have more fun? I think the brunette girls, the brown hair girls, definitely know how to party. Today, I've teamed up with Eunice Hair to bring you this gorgeous, absolutely superb blonde wig. And I am gonna show you how I install her as a brown girl and make her look super good. Now I am, am a little bit more out of sight of my comfort zone when it comes to the no baby hair than I am the color. The color I'm completely fine and comfortable with. It's the fact that I did no baby hair that is kind of like making me want to just go ahead and just pull some out. Now I will probably off camera, but every time I do blonde, you guys see it with the baby hair. So today I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and give you guys a no baby hair look with the blonde. She came out absolutely beautiful. It's given forehead realness, which definitely makes it look a lot more natural. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial and show you how I execute it to perfection. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, babies, let's get down with the get down. This is the wig straight out of the box this is a beautiful 13 by 4 human hair lace front wig the origin is brazilian and she is definitely absolutely gorgeous and a 24 inch in length 150 percent density i'm showing you this angle so you guys can see it has like a slight darkness to the root it's like it's not a dark root but they did it in a great way where it kind of has like a darker shade at the root to give you more of a great dimension and more complimentary this is what she looks like on and i will say that she fits absolutely beautiful as i mentioned this is 150 percent density so it's not overbearing it doesn't give barbie doll hair it gives custom you know a custom luxurious experience and not just like you know a barbie doll wig straight out of the beauty supply let me go ahead and get my sideburns together because that's the one thing about blonde wigs for me i have become very comfortable with wearing them but the one thing I, that is a no-no for me is for my sideburns to be peeking through lately i've been taking my vitamins so i gotta make sure i cover those up in the process of me yapping i did show you guys the hairline as well as i'm showing you now what it looks like as a center part and before this i did show you guys what it looked like as a side part for this one in particular i did prefer the side part for this one in particular i did prefer the middle part above all but you can obviously switch it up and do as you please here i am doing the dynamic duo this is my favorite step to go ahead and smooth it out i love for a bust down middle part to have no lumps no bumps so this is my key process in order to avoid any of that you guys can see how beautiful and smooth it is now i'm also training the sideburns to go forward that way it's just an easier and smoother process when it's time to actually create the sideburns. And I'm going to repeat those exact steps on the opposite side, making sure even the back is smooth. Now here's the trickiest part with blonde for brown women, finding the perfect lace tint. Now one thing I don't like to do is tint the lace up underneath because I feel like that powder will get, or even if no matter what type of lace tint you use, it'll see through onto that blonde hair and just ruin the look. So I did go with a very darkish shade. I feel like something that is more so cool tone and a shade or two darker than your complexion kind of is a good start for finding the perfect color for blonde. And also I find that what works with one blonde wig definitely is not what works for all. I did fan or like stipple um, that same product that I put into the parting along the hairline. And as you guys can see, I'm doing it on the opposite side as well. This color here works perfect. And honestly, looking at the video and reviewing how I did my process, I could have just left it there and used my fingers to blend that out. But here I am using the opposite side of that brush that I was using. It had leftover product which had an orange hue on it, even though I didn't add any new product that leftover product definitely started off that orange hue that i was trying to avoid so again that concealer so again that cream foundation would have been perfect and all i need because that was a product that blended and made it look like scalp and it didn't give any orange effect now i'm going to go ahead and bond the wig down i am using a bedhead extra hold hairspray this is going to 
pretty much act as a um, glue even though it's non glue and you'll be able to remove it with just a little bit of water um, it's going to stick the wig down and that is why I'm generous with this product I really wanted the wig to stay down on this day you guys know California has been extremely hot in the last few weeks and it's going to be probably hot until my birthday so I wanted to make sure that while out I did not have to run into any lifting um, with the heat as well as just making sure that it looks flawless in the hairline because this is a no baby hair look and baby hair honestly is a way to get away with it when your hairline um isn't that flawless and that i don't have that option i can't hide behind baby hair today so so i really took my time and then i went ahead and added just a little bit more of that product and then i added the melt belt for all of that to set and just to melt completely while that does its job, I'm going to go ahead and just soak out the ends. Because this hair is just so va va voom, I honestly don't feel like any style is necessary. And it came with enough um, layer that I don't need to do anything at all. Also, I want to mention that this one is on Amazon Prime. Of course, she is linked in the description box. But any wig that you can get on Prime and at a great price, I am here for it okay so the wig is installed once my makeup is on it does look a little bit more orange which i always say i use foundation so that it's um not permanent but of course because this is a non-glue adhesive i'm not gonna wet it i just want to soften it up so i'm gonna brush against it as much as i can now i did not want to do sideburns but um i did need to cover my baby hair which is black so i'm not gonna say i didn't have a choice i could have left like an ear flap to cover it but i just didn't want um to not you can definitely thin this out, but again, you guys can see here, my sideburns are dark, so I just don't want those to show at all. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little edge control. I can almost guarantee you, I am doing the most for y'all and giving you guys this look with no baby hair. Oh, but tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that, she will have baby hair. Okay, let me switch my top so you guys don't get pajama Ashley and I will be right back. Here is the final look. I was feeling myself so much I almost forgot to show you the final look. Absolutely gorgeous. And here is a look at the packaging. Eunice always has superb packaging. They included all of these free goodies including the HD wig caps the crochet needle which is travel size they also included this melt belt that says Eunice as well as a pack of lashes and last but not least a travel kabuki brush okay babies we are done with the look I almost forgot to give you guys an intro and an outro but this is the look and this is the hairline now it's completely out of my comfort zone to do a no baby hair look but of course I wanted to switch it up for you guys because I think that the last few blonde um, options that I did I did baby hair so giving you something different the only thing I did was the sideburns and that's because my sideburns have been growing in a little bit fuller lately but this one did come from Eunice and as you guys can see she is gorgeous she's a stunner she's a showstopper now I am putting it on for you guys I am finessing because you guys already know after this video is complete I will be putting baby hair this one is definitely giving forehead realness this one is absolutely beautiful what I love about this one is the color um the color job, the color payoff, I don't know the word that I'm looking for, but what I'm trying to say is this one is blonde and it does have that 613, but if you look in there, it's like not streaks or anything crazy. It goes so smooth and together, but also equally, you can see ash brown, you can see that 613 brown and that ash brown that they added in there um it's not ombre and again it's not highlights it's just a beautiful color combo but the ash brown in it um brings it together and makes it a little bit easier for me to pull off with my brown complexion so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check this one out eunice always has the best quality hair on the market i definitely have tons and tons of videos with eunice of so the blonde is not your look you can definitely check my channel for many other options but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.